Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boys and Grove, and today we're gonna take some pieces of scrap wood like this and turn them into crayon holders like this. Let's get into it. It's gonna be great. <laughs> I started with the easiest one. I grabbed a cutoff of some 2 by material that had a big crack in it and applied a template with some spray adhesive. I took off most of the bulk material over at the table saw and the miter saw. Then I used the band saw to cut it out. I used a 3 8 inch bit on my drill press to drill all the holes along with one of Rockler's new fast clamps to hold it in place. I used a heat gun to remove the template. You could also use a hair dryer or just sand it off. After some sanding, I applied some polyurethane, and our first crayon holder is done. For the second one, I grabbed a cutoff from some floating shelves that I had made, along with some tracing paper, a sketch I drew up, and some cuff. Wait, that's not good! Ah, much better. Nice save. This tracing paper is really handy. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. After trimming it down on the table saw, I started cutting this one out with the jigsaw, but I didn't have the right blade to get into some of the tighter spots. So I moved over to the scroll saw to finish it up. Like the first one, I used a 3 8 inch bit to drill the holes, but I decided to skip the eye hole on this one. After some sanding, I applied some paint, and our second holder is done. Crayon holder number three is the most complex because it requires assembly, but it's still pretty easy to make. I started by applying a template to some more scrap wood. Then I moved to the bandsaw to cut everything out. Now I made the wings for this shuttle out of 3 quarter inch material, but you can use any thickness material you want. Just make sure to compensate for that when you're cutting the relief out for the wings on the body of the shuttle. Once all the pieces were cut and sanded, it was time for the glue up. These Bessie ratcheting spring clamps are super handy for projects like this. I picked these up at the local Home Depot for around 8 bucks a piece. I'll leave a link in the description below. Let me take a minute to share a thought with you that I've been having while I've been working on these crayon holders. As woodworkers, makers, and DIYers, we are constantly looking for projects that we can batch out to add to our Etsy page, our website, or take to a maker's market or craft sale. But as I was thinking about it, we're using all scrap materials for these crayon holders and I'm able to batch them out pretty quickly, so why don't we take this opportunity to bless someone? So let me put this challenge out there to you. 
To the end of May, the end of the school year, I'm gonna be offering the plans for these crayon holders free over on our website to give you the opportunity to print them out, take some of your scraps and batch out a big box of these, and then maybe think about donating them to a local daycare, preschool, a Goodwill, or just somebody that you think might really enjoy them. Let's take a minute out of our busy money-making lives and use our skills to bless somebody. Now back to the project. Once the glue was dry, it was back over to the drill press to put in all the holes. Then it was time for the paint, but this one I decided to take some time and add a few more details. All right, all three of our crayon holders are finished and I have to say I'm a little torn between the dinosaur and the shuttle as being my favorite. I really like the color and the simplicity of the dinosaur, but man, this shuttle turned out really cool. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. We work on a new project every week, so make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you very much for watching, be safe, and have a great day.